All right, so this um, will get a little bit trickier uh, for your blue mixture, for your blue, right? Uh, for your blue hue, you're really gonna be mixing one part uh, ultramarine blue, one part phthalo blue, and then about a third of a part, right, of white, if that makes sense. So um, that would be just a really, you know, a fairly small amount of white that is about the thir a third of the size of one of those blobs of both of your blues, okay, if that makes sense. Um, let's show what that looks like here. All right, so it should be roughly a blob of this blue, that's your ultramarine blue, one blob, same size blob, right? Huh, that's a little bit bigger, that's fine though. Um, equal blobs of your two blues. And then here's your white, right? So, and you're gonna, you might have a little more control over this because you have your palette knife uh, I am just, it's like a little mini blob. That might be too much, but I, that probably will be okay. There definitely is a little bit more white. This has the most white. We don't want to go crazy, but okay, let's see how we are here for this. And that's really just so we can bring up and actually see the blue, <laughs> the blueness of, because both of those um, paint colors are very, very dark. I might have a little bit too much white in this. Let me just see. I don't know if I can compare it to my other ones. Um, remember, this paint will dry down darker than it, a little bit, not a little bit darker. It dries a little darker than what it, it looks like when it's wet. I have a blue already done, so let me just compare it here. Actually, I think... Yeah, this will be fine, all right? So I think this will be good if you can kind of compare those. This is the dry one, and if you butt them right up against each other, it looks like this will dry down. So that was a good um, amount, okay, in terms of the quantity of, of white, right? Sometimes very small, well, probably always, very small changes in amounts of your paint will make a big difference, okay? But this should be good. So the amount of white is really important because you want to get the value level of each of your pure hues correct. And the reason we're adding white, you might say, well, Lisa, doesn't, if I add white, doesn't that mean I'm making a tint? And you would be correct in theory, right? But because this is paint, um, we do need to add a little bit of white just to bring up the, the color because again, we're operating with physical materials and not in a theoretic context, so, okay. Um, all right, so this is working pretty well. We can set this off to the side to dry and then um, we, I will, we'll move on after this into the secondaries, right? And mixing those. Okay, all right, thanks.